This is the Joby Wavo Plus. It's a battery powered on camera shotgun microphone. It's got a ton of features, including live audio monitoring. It's got auto on off and you can even use it via USB-C. The microphone was sent to me free of charge, but I am not being paid any money and this video is not sponsored. Currently, I am using the microphone to record this very audio and that's going into a standalone recorder. It is a Zoom H1 recorder, but that's just one of the options of how you can use this microphone. More on that in a minute. In the box, you will get the microphone with integrated shock mount and removable foam windshield, a TRS to TRS cable and a TRS to TRRS cable, a USB-C to USB-A cable and a USB-C to USB-C cable. The Wavo Plus is an on-camera shotgun style condenser microphone and uses a super cardioid polar pickup pattern. It has an integrated non-removable shock mount with cold shoe and it's also got the option to mount it on a tripod. It's got a 3 8 thread as well as a quarter inch adapter with dimensions of 11.5 by 5.8 by 11.2 centimeters. Overall, it's a pretty neat package. The microphone has several controls, the first and most important of which is the power button. It has an integrated LED on it so you know when it's on. It also lets you know which power mode you're in. If you want the microphone to turn on and off when you turn your camera on and off, then you're going to want it in auto power mode. When you first get the microphone, you're likely to already be in this mode and you will know this because the LED indicator on the power switch will be lit white. If it's not already in this mode, however, it is super simple to change. All you need to do is do two clicks of the button and the LED will change from green to white. If of course the first time you turn it on the LED is green, that means you're in the manual on off mode, which means you'll have to turn it on and off every time you want to record. The good thing about the auto on off mode is it actually doesn't matter what the microphone is plugged into. So regardless of whether it's a camera, a phone, or a standalone recorder like I'm using now, if you turn that device off and it's in the auto on off mode, it will also turn the microphone off. Same thing when you turn it on. In addition to the LED on the on off switch, there is also an LED around the front of the microphone. This will let you know that the microphone has come on and therefore is ready to record. And it will also indicate how much battery is remaining. Green is anything above 30% battery remaining. Orange is anything above 10% and red is 10% and below. If you're someone who uses a camera without a headphone jack for audio monitoring, then this could be the microphone for you. That's because it features a 3.5 millimeter audio monitoring headphone jack as well as a headphone volume dial. Below the headphone volume dial is a USB type C port and this is used for charging the microphone's battery as well as being able to connect the microphone to a computer. This works with either Mac or PC. In fact, it even works with a USB-C iPad. Underneath that is the audio output for the camera. Again, this is a standard 3.5 millimeter port. On either side of the body of the microphone, there are a selection of switches. On one side, there is a switch for output gain. This can be set to zero, minus 10 dB, or plus 15 dB. This means that you can adjust the gain in the camera as well as on the microphone. So it gives you a little bit of flexibility. On the opposite side, there are two further switches. The top switch or safety track switch allows you to record audio in either mono where both tracks are recorded at the same volume or if you switch it on, you will get a safety track. This means the left channel is gonna record just as it would in the mono mode and the right channel is gonna actually record a track that is 10 decibels lower. This means that if when you go into the edit, you find that your original audio track is a little bit hot, then you can switch to the right audio track and it's just that 10 decibels lower. So you should be able to save any unusable audio. Right below the safety track switch is the low cut filter switch. When you turn this on, it will help you avoid low frequencies like background noise. And this is anything up to 100 Hertz. For reference, I have it turned on now. Now I am in a reasonably quiet space, but it is not sound treated. Battery life is stated to be 30 hours. Now, if I'm honest, I haven't used this microphone for 30 hours yet, 
but it's still in the green, so battery life seems to be pretty good. That auto on off feature is definitely going to help with that battery life. The audio for this entire video has been recorded using the Wavo Plus. So I will let you be the judge of how it sounds. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. Does it sound good? The Joby Wavo Plus does just about everything you would want a microphone to do. You can use it as an on-camera microphone without worrying about whether you have turned it on or off. You are going to have to remember to charge it though. Or you could use it with pretty much anything else. I personally have tried it with an iPhone, with an iPad, with an iMac, two different cameras, a standalone recorder. It works with everything. You can monitor your audio directly from the microphone, so it doesn't matter what device you have it plugged into, you're still going to be able to monitor your audio. It's also worth mentioning that the Wavo Plus doesn't require any additional software to use any of these features, and that's because of those physical switches. Whilst this isn't a cheap microphone, it's £190 here in the UK and $200 in the US, it does offer a lot of value for that price tag. It may be a sensible solution for you if you require a microphone that you can switch between multiple devices. Or maybe you have a camera that doesn't allow audio monitoring and you wanna add it without having to change out your camera. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.